She's earned her way into the starting lineup, and no Maddie Cruel as well, so Kendall Moriarty gets more playing time as well. Markowski wins the tip against Dixon, and we are under underway. Potts with it on the right wing. Now to White. White back to Potts on the pick and roll, and she finishes. Jordan Brown, a redshirt sophomore guard in now for Northwestern State. Shelley with the basketball, feeds it down low to Markowski. She goes up and is fouled. The bucket is good. Nisley the rebound. No look pass from Shelley to Hake. Her three-pointer is good. And a timeout taken by Northwestern State. Dean pick and roll to Ntambwe. She misses. Hake fights for the rebound. And Nebraska takes it the other way. Out to Stewart. She'll line up another three. This time she knocks it down. Here comes Shelley. Shelley going to the rack, and it goes high off the glass and in. There have been those chances now for the Lady Demons in the past handful of possession. Let's, let's see if they can start to capitalize more consistently. Skip pass to the corner. Moriarty adjusts to it, feeds it back inside to Markowski. The bucket is good, and the foul. What a play. What great ball movement there. And Markowski with the finish. Moriarty, back up top to Shelly. Shelly, she'll try a step back deep three, a high arcing shot falls. Thing to do against a 6-2 forward. Hake, a deep three off the pass from Shelly, she connects. Well, Yannick with the basketball here for the Lady Demons. Now to Hardison, trying to get around Hake, and she got it, and one. Shelly gets it into White, who stops at the top of the key. Back to Shelly, who came all the way around from the other side. And the three-pointer is good. Hake coming the other way for Nebraska. Back outside to Nisley. Catch and shoot three. Can't connect. Potts, the offensive board. Out to Hake. This is a deep one. Got it. That was a really nice kind of stop on a dime right there, but she just wasn't able to convert. Wide open. It's Hake. And you can't leave her alone like that in the corner. Now she'll get a screen at the top of the key from Dixon. Now she's guarded by Stewart, gives it to Ayers, had a look at three, chose not to take it. Instead, she makes the extra pass, and Woodson connects from the right corner. Inbound to Stewart. She'll just launch a three, and from way downtown, she hits. When you're kind of banged up, obviously Maddie Kroll, we mentioned earlier in the game, she's out with a foot injury for a couple of weeks. She was a consistent starter last year as Northwestern State knocks down the three. Yeah, even though Woodson missed that shot, it seems like she's gaining back that confidence offensively. Eight seconds left in the quarter, and that's an easy bucket there for Natalie Potts, and a pass whipped in there by Jen Shelley. And that will do it for the third. Stepping into that position again this year. Moriarty off the inbound, lays it up and in. Kendall That's Coley the assist. fantastic set. Looking around to try to find someone to get the basketball to, and Callan Hake gets her hands in the passing lane. She's off and running, up with the left hand, no good, it's short. Jad Shelley the rebound, throws it back. Who else? Natalie Potts. Urban to the corner. Dean with a good ball fake. Drives underneath, hands it back off. She gets it back, falls to the floor, and it'll be a chance for one more at the free throw line for Dean. Markowski at the free throw line, the high low taken away. Instead, it goes out to Jazz Shelley, and she hits it from downtown. Oh, wait, Jazz Shelley's wide open at the top of the key. Of course, she's going to shoot that three, and she knocks it down. Woodson, she'll try to answer. She hits. She's missed a couple long from that corner. Up ahead, oh great goodness. pass from Hake and a better finish from Potts. Stewart rebounds it for Nebraska, and White will hand it off here to Nisley. She doesn't have any doubts about that one as she knocks it down from the right wing. After a delay, brought in by Saleo. Oh, Petrie almost came up with the steal. Ayers, she'll try a three-pointer. Got it. Nebraska's led the whole way, started this one out. Up 16 to nothing as Ayers goes to the rack, and man, she's having herself a fourth quarter as the final seconds tick off and the Huskers go to 1-0. Next up for Nebraska, it is a trip to Wyoming.